When the Prime Minister was in Edinburgh on the 15th of July last year, she pledged that she would, and I quote, not trigger Article 50 until she had an agreed UK wide approach. Wow. Correct. Wow. So, given that the Scottish Parliament has voted overwhelmingly against her approach, and all bar one MP representing a Scottish constituency in this House of Commons has voted against her approach, she does not have an agreed UK wide yeah. approach. Yeah. Now, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, as the Prime Minister knows, a lot of people in Scotland watch Prime Minister's questions. So will she tell those viewers in Scotland whether she intends to keep her word to Scotland or not? The Supreme Court was very clear that the Scottish Parliament does not have a veto on the triggering of Article 50. Uh, the bill that is going through the House, obviously, is giving the power to the Government to trigger Article 50. And I would also remind him of this point, because he constantly refers to the interests of Scotland inside the European Union. An independent Scotland would not be in the European Union.